Welcome back. We're focusing on animal nutrition and the work of Purina in helping producers grow and care for their cattle in the most efficient ways possible. We have a couple more Purina research success stories that we need to get to, so let's shift gears and talk about one of the first things cattlemen consider in developing nutritional programs for their cows, and that's mineral nutrition. Now, Dr. Ficario, I know this can be really, really complicated as you get in and talk about be. trace nutrients and, and, and micronutrients and all the minerals that, that, that we can feed to cows. Boil it down to simplify it for our audience. Really, Kevin, you can boil it down to three main things. Okay. And this is what we tell our customers, this is what we tell our producers when they come to the VIPs at Great Summit, and this is probably what Bob tells his customers. Number one, cattle need mineral. We know that, that mineral self-mentation is important because forages don't always provide the minerals that those cows need throughout the production cycle. Just like protein and energy changes in our forage base, mm. the minerals change. So in order to have a consistent mineral self-mentation program, you need to have that mineral out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So cattle need mineral mm -hmm. supplementation. Number two is you can put the mineral out there, but the cows don't eat it, doesn't do any good. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have to make sure you get the correct intake and get that mineral into the cow. Mm -hmm. Cause she's gotta eat it, digest it, and be absorbed in her system in order for it to have the value. So cattle need mineral, mm -hmm. the cows gotta eat it. And finally, number three, Purina has a large comprehensive line of research tested, field proven minerals that we can really come in and gear the, that the needs for the customers at different parts of the country, different times of the year, different forage bases, uh, regional needs, high selenium, no selenium, things like that. So there is a huge comprehensive line that Bob has available to his customers that are out there. Well, let's go back and talk about number two, because you did say that one of the keys was getting mineral into the cow. You can buy the best mineral, but if she's not eating it, it's not gonna do any good. Elaborate a little bit on that. And really getting the intake is really the hardest part. You now we can design the most balanced mineral uh, using the highest quality ingredients, but like, you, like we said, if they don't eat it, who cares? So uh, we have spent lots of time, Dr. Scott and I have, researching the products and the wind and rain, storm formula minerals there at Gray Summit. And uh, it really, in order for the, those animals to, in, to, to consume the minerals like we need to, you gotta understand the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So you think about most, supplementation programs, phosphorus is usually the one that's high on everybody's mind because we know phosphorus deficiencies uh, affects reproduction, it affects growth and development. And uh, the number one ingredient that we provide phosphorus with is dicalcium phosphate. Mm. And that is very acidic. Cows just don't like to eat it. So now you're trying to get animals to consume a very unpalatable ingredient. Mm -hmm. So we have to come in and we developed and have some proprietary palatants mm. uh, uh, a flavoring type ingredients that we add to the mineral mm -hmm. that way allows us to get a more consistent intake. Uh, another issue is magnesium. Think about grass tetany issues in the spring on those lush quality pastures. Low in magnesium, high in potassium. Uh, you know, a lot of times we have death issues if we have those low magnesium type programs mm -hmm. that are out there. Magnesium oxide is where we get the magnesium from. Mm -hmm. Again, very bitter. Cows don't like to eat it. So now we're trying to take things that just rocks that cows don't like to eat have a bad taste, but you gotta make sure you get that consistent intake. So the research that we do on those types of products is very valuable. Mm -hmm. So again, consistent intake at the target intake that's, that it's uh, formulated for. I might get some of those palatins put on my Brussels spouts. Uh, yeah. Bob, back to you real quickly. What has this meant to your customers? Well, for our customers, it's really about, you know, do, they, do they, the cattle eat the mineral at the rate they're supposed to? Mm -hmm. And is it affordable? And all those things come into play with the Purina storm minerals mm -hmm. and the wind and rain tubs. Mm -hmm. So our, our job is to supply that product to our customers, the ones that work in, in the spring or the fall, and, and, and make it work at a cost-effective manner for them. So it's getting the right product out there at the right time. Very good.